Howdy out there folks, today we're going to take a quick look at this archive collection by Warner Brothers, the Blu-ray release of Death Trap, a 1982 film directed by Sidney Lumet, or Lumet, depending on how you like to pronounce it, um, starring Christopher Reeve, Michael Caine, and Diane Cannon. And of course this film was based on a play and uh, was obviously adapted for the screen by uh, Sidney, who is a terrific director. He's he's made some of the most amazing films, 12 Angry Men, The Verdict, Dog Day Afternoon. He is just one of those titans of cinema who I would argue is right up there with the, the best of the best. And this film, I think what is incredibly notable about it is while it's clear that it was based on a play because much of the movie is set within the four walls of a house, um, it nonetheless does a, a remarkable job at getting the camera to move around in strange places. Incidentally, the cinematographer is the same gentleman who lensed Speed and also The Verdict, among other films. So certainly there was some talent behind the camera as well uh, when it comes to cinemato cinematography, rather. But I'd like to point out that what really makes this film sing is the interplay between the two main leads, uh, Michael Caine and Christopher Reeve. Uh, Diane Cannon is quite good in it as well, but um, I think the film really just uh, gets a big boost by the virtues of both of the gentlemen's performances, Caine and Reeve. And what's interesting about this movie is, of course, Christopher Reeve had really used Superman, obviously, to, you know, give him uh, a degree of fame. And then certainly he deservedly so. I mean, I would argue he is the definitive Superman because he played both Superman and Clark Kent so well. No one has come close to his performance. But he, of course, was concerned that he was going to be typecast and was only going to be playing the the Boy Scout, the Big Blue Boy Scout, and uh, he deliberately sought to uh, to stretch himself a bit and hopefully bring along many of his fans. Now, at the time, he was uh, criticized by many on the right for being, um, you know, basically having an on-screen gay kiss with Michael Caine's character, and uh, I think that that's unfortunate because I think he's terrific in this film. He plays a deliciously um, unpredictable character who I think just knocks it out of the park. And it shows his acting chops that I think sadly didn't get uh, the, the kudos that I think he deserved. He, of course, went on to do Street Smart as well with Morgan Freeman. But I would argue that this film is perhaps his best performance uh, on film. I, certainly this movie... Somewhere in Time and Superman are excellent examples of his <clears throat> commitment to the craft and also his skill. Uh, I always like to think that uh, <laughs> just such an interesting pairing when he was at the uh, Juilliard School of Acting. Apparently he was roommates with Robin Williams of all people and uh, they remained friends until um, Christopher Reeve's death. But uh, just again, this is a movie that if you like Glass Onion or Knives Out or Clue, uh, do yourself a favor and give this a watch. I think you'll be surprised by how twisty and turny the uh, narrative is and just how incredibly uh, well acted it is. I highly recommend the movie and of course the Warner Brothers Archive Collection Blu-ray here definitely is the place or the way to see it because you know, the, the PQ and AQ are quite solid, much better than you're going to get on streaming. Now, I will say that the audio at times wasn't as crisp. It's very front heavy, dialogue heavy. Uh, I turned on the subtitles because there were times when I had a little bit of trouble making out some of the dialogue. But it's certainly a, a good transfer and one that I think will definitely sit proudly on any cinephile's shelf. Uh, really enjoy it. Highly recommend it. And uh, like I said, you can go no, uh, you can get no better than this particular release by the Warner Brothers Archive Collection. So 
Without uh, belaboring the point, I'd just like to conclude by saying thanks for watching. Please stay safe out there, be kind, and by all means, keep watching good cinema.